call it, uh, when we watched the film, it was really a kind of magic for us. And what, what really was so special about it was this film follows very closely a community on a dike and uh, follows what's happening there to the community but, community, but at the same time the camera captures really astonishing images. So we really wondered how did you shoot it and how many time did you spend there. Tell us something about uh, how did you make this film. I'm a little scared. Because I always uh, kept myself in the shape. And I, it was always light in front. Now it, it is on me. <laughs> and thank you. Uh, literally, when we conceived this film, we did travel uh, around a far stretch of the coastal belt until we decided on this specific family. When I knew that this is the family and this is the location I'm going to do the film, then I started living with the community back and forth uh, over a period of, I don't know. Two months. Yeah, but, but uh, before enrolling the actual shooting, it was almost uh, six months. Uh, we went there back and forth. We seasoned ourselves and themselves and made a real good connection with them. And then we started the main shooting. That was the way it was done. So maybe a question to the producer: How is it to to produce a film about over such a long period of time? How is it money-wise in Bangladesh <laughs> to make such a film? I mean, that, that sounds really to a filmmaker in Germany. It sounds really good to to be able to spend so much time with the protagonist. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Actually, it was uh, we just fell in love with this family, and that's actually what took us uh, time and again to them. We, when the, the shooting all together, it took us 20 months, and we went there probably for 12 times, and each time we were there for two weeks minimum, and maximum one month, or something like that. And actually producing a documentary in Bangladesh and spending so much time, it's, it's not at all normal. But <laughs> and in Bangladesh, it's actually impossible. You know, nobody visualizes it that way. But just we fall in love with this family and the community, the, their willpower, their resilience, and their love for life. That's just made us spellbound. <laughs> One thing she missed. She literally took a job to produce the film. So that's how it was okay. so, And we fell in love with the film, but as I know, the film was, was also made within the framework of a project, and I know that uh, Klaas has uh, been knowing the, this project for some time, because you were with it as a tutor. Please yeah. tell us something. Um, I was as tutor at a workshop in India, which is Doc Edge, and there uh, were filmmakers and filmmakers from the whole Asian South Asian Raum. Da. Und da war auch Kamar mit, seinen, mit einigen Rechercheaufnahmen, die er mir gezeigt hat. Und wir haben lange geredet und es war ein sehr berührendes, sehr tiefes, sehr intensives Gespräch. Und wir haben uns dann bei der Berlinale wieder gesehen und es war eine wunderbare Überraschung, dass er dort im Zernen Campus war. Und dann habe ich ihn gefragt, wie sieht es mit deinem Film aus? Und er sagte, ja, der ist jetzt fast fertig. Und er sagte, schick ihn uns doch bitte. Und dann kam dieser Film und... Ähm, Ich wollte nicht so viel sagen, weil ich ihn ja nun kannte und nicht ganz neutral war und habe den, den Kollegen den Film auch gegeben und die haben ihn gesehen und haben gesagt, Klaas, du musst diesen Film nehmen, das ist wirklich absolut unglaublich. Und äh, darüber war ich natürlich sehr, sehr froh und äh, bin absolut glücklich, dass wir diesen Film jetzt heute präsentieren können. I just said that we met at the Dockage Workshop and had a long talk and you showed me some footage and that this was a very special and we had very intensive discussion and I was very touched by what you were doing and uh, we met at Berlin now, Talent Campus briefly and I asked you about your film and now it's here and this is a great honor for us. Thank you so much. Actually, on terms of monetary, we would also like to thank uh, IFA, International Documentary Festival of Amsterdam. They pro funded our project twice and it's also the 
uh, Swiss fund, Vision Sudes, they also um, made this actually, uh, we are actually grateful for them to make this happen. So thank you very much for coming with the film and uh, for having your work from me here. We are very excited to see it now on the big screen. At and there will be uh, an opportunity for a Q&A uh, with the director and producer tomorrow morning at 10 uh, in this uh, cinema scene star uh, or here in, I think in the foyer uh, and my colleague Matthias Weder will do the talk, a doc talk with both of you for your film. Okay, thank you for coming. jetzt die Weltpremiere von Are You Listening? Und im Anschluss daran möchten wir Sie einladen zum schon traditionellen Eröffnungsempfang im Museum der Bildenden Künste im Festivalzentrum. Ich wünsche Ihnen jetzt ähm, viel Spaß mit dem Film und hoffe, dass ich Sie alle auf dem Festival in dieser Woche wiedersehen werde. Viel Spaß.